One day, a friend excitedly told us he has a scuba certification and he's been scuba diving and he finds it amazing. His brother-in-law was excited by the idea and looked at his wife and asked her, "Hey, can I go get my certification?" And she looked at him and thought, "Um, I don't feel comfortable with you going by yourself, but if you can convince him to go with you, I will agree to it." So he looks at me and said, "Why don't we go take our first class together and get certified?" As I was young and this was a very expensive activity, I politely declined. His wife looks at me and says, "Hey, your birthday is rolling around. I am going to get you the Patty Open Water certification as your birthday gift. So you should go with my husband and take the classes together." So he looks at me and says, "See, nothing, no more excuses." And with that, we went to our first class together and got our first certification. And after that. We got our second certification, the advanced open water, and the next one, and the one after that, and eventually we find ourselves with the first professional paddy certification for dive master, which allows us to actually work as scuba divers. After that, we started going around and diving various places around Southern California, and I will admittedly say California water is definitely very cold. It's very Dark and is quite turbulent. However, it does have some beautiful characteristics: interesting swim through, and the kelp forest swimming through it with the rays of sunshine sparkling through it is quite amazing. It feels like you're flying through a forest. And Catalina Island also definitely has its own distinct characteristics. And eventually, with more dives under our belt, we feel like doing something extra on top of the scuba diving. As my birthday rolled around, his wife got me my first spear gun, and we started fishing with underwater in scuba with the spear gun. At first, it was kind of hard, but eventually, I learned some tricks. One of which was if you sit on the bottom of the ocean and breathe very slowly, so to decrease your bubbles, and as you lay still, the fish eventually forgot that you're there, and they start coming out of their hiding holes, and they come up sometimes to swim and look at you out of curiosity. This is quite a far cry from the earlier days of trying to fish on the piers and the breaker, where we caught nothing, and eventually a poisonous fish. In this situation, I get to see the fish I'm trying to fish, so it made it tons easier, and I became much more proficient at catching fish this way. Eventually, though, admittedly, it became like a cheat, so I felt kind of bad, so I stopped. And if you're interested in more stories, come back. Please like and subscribe. I look forward to talking to you next week.